Hi there guys and welcome back to the Majestic Pinball Restorations YouTube channel. Today we have another electromechanical machine in the workshop. This is a Williams Darling which was released in 1973. It was designed by Steve Kordek and they made 3,677 of these machines. Now this game came in two flavours. We have the two player version which is Darling which is this machine and we have the four player version which was called Jubilee. Williams also reused this playfield again on a game called Skylab. That playfield was slightly different. The lower part had the, like, the typical in-lane, out-lane situation, whereas this game's a little bit stranger. You just have out-lanes, no in-lanes at all. You have two nice cannons on the side, which fire the balls up. But apart from that, playfields are more or less identical on all three of those machines. The machine's actually incredibly clever. The engineering that went into this machine is quite fascinating. Um, it does know which side has the most balls on, so the special works by having a certain amount of balls on each side. And the game actually knows which side has the most balls on and will set the special to be on the opposite side. So in between players it will flip it over to make it harder for the player to win a special. So that's quite an interesting feature, but we'll get into that a bit more during the tutorial. So Darling and or Jubilee are very simple machines to play. They're electromechanical machines, which means they are not overly advanced and the rule sets are quite basic and they tend to focus mainly on specials and the endable bonus. The endable bonus works on this machine quite simply by rolling over certain lanes and that's about it. So at the top of the playfield you have the green and the pink lanes at the top, if I move my arm out of the way. One of those will be lit for an extra advance. So rolling through one of the lanes will give you one advance, rolling through the other will give you three. Anyway, it basically says advance will increase your uh, enable bonus which is in the middle of the playfield here you have an advance on each outlane the uh, newton's cradle balls in the center will also give you an advance so as long as you hit one round to the other side that'll give you an advance it doesn't matter which way round it goes as long as you whack one from one side to the other you also have a rollover button on each side of the playfield here and here that credits you an advance and you also have a really impossible gate in between the bumpers up the top uh, if the ball happens to pop through that which you can do it can get stuck in ricochet between the two quite nicely every time it goes through that gate it credits you in advance as well now on the last ball which will either be set to number three or number five this machine happens to be set on five you get double bonus so the double bonus lights to light up in between the flippers and all of your advances accumulated are doubled at the end of the ball which is very nice obviously tilting the machine will clear your bonus when you lose the ball and end your turn so you don't want to tilt on old games like this because the bonuses are usually worth quite a lot of points so the main toy gimmick and feature of this machine is the set of balls in the middle of the playfield. Uh, I likely touched on this earlier, but the machine will light up one side, which will be the special side. So at the moment it's on the left. Now the machine knows, as I said previously, which side has the most balls on and it will always light the opposite side. So in this case, you've got three on this side, two on that side. This side's lit for special. Simply whacking all of the balls over to that side will give you an extra ball. If you're playing a two-player game, it does get very interesting because now if you leave the balls in this state and you don't aim for them, the next player, it will light on the right-hand side and they'll have to get all five balls over to the other side. So for two players, it's quite an interesting machine to play. Um, as a single-player game, it's probably not overly interesting as there's not a lot to shoot for. You do have switches on the rebound rubbers on the sides which credit you uh, 50 points. Same up here, they'll give you 50. And the ones right at the very top by the bumpers, they just give you 10 and they swap over the uh, lit lane. Now down the sides by the flippers on the left and right hand sides, you have two shooter cannon things, which are very interesting. Those are aimed at the Newton's Cradle balls. You can just lift the flipper up and it kind of just funnels it in quite nicely. Those will alternate depending on what side is lit for special. This side's 300 when it's lit and 30 when it's not. And the other side's the opposite, but that again will alternate depending on which side of the machine has the most balls accumulated. But other than that, not a whole lot to it. So let's fire up a game and see what we can do.
So that gave us a triple advance. Not having much luck with these balls in the middle. So this is the last ball. Every advance is worth 2,000 points. Not the best game there. What I am going to do is unplug the chimes because they're ridiculously loud. And we will do one more game. So now all that progress we made getting the balls over to the right hand side has been lost because now it wants them all over to the left so time to start again. There we go, that's all the balls on one side, so we've got a shoot again. There we have it that was williams darling or jubilee uh, thank you as always for watching take care and i will see you in the next one